We want to welcome each and every one of you to this time of praise and worship. As we worship as a family, we want to invite you also to join with us. Why do we need to praise and worship? Because we are worshiping the Creator, the one who created you and I, the one who created everything that we look around us. He deserves all the honor and glory. Not only that, not only that He is so powerful, He is very personal too. He died for you and I on the cross. He gave Himself up. Everything that He had, He gave Himself up for you and I. So He deserves all of our honor, our worship, our praise. He has been so good to you and I. So let's thank Him. Let's worship Him. When we do that, everything that is bothering us, that is pulling us down, all the anxiety, all the fear, they'll all run away. When you look at the goodness and the greatness of our Lord, He's our Father. He can do anything for you and I. And He always does good because He is a good, good Father. So can we sing this song, Even So Come? This Father, He said, I need to go to heaven because I'm going to prepare a mansion for you and I. But I can come back and take you to be with me. We are the bride and he is the bridegroom preparing a mansion and coming to take us back with him. So let's sing this song, Even So Come. Like a bride waiting for her groom, we the church are waiting for you, O Lord Jesus. Let's sing this song. We'll be 
church Waiting for you every hour Longing for our King We sing Even so come Lord Jesus come Even so come Lord Jesus come Even so Lord Jesus, come. Even so, come. Lord Jesus, come. Yes, Lord, that's our heart's cry. Sing, even so, come. Lord Jesus, please come. We are ready and waiting for you. When you look at all the things that are happening all around us, we know that these are the last days. We don't have to be afraid of these last days because we know the Lord Jesus coming is very near as the bride waiting for the groom. Let's be with an expectant heart saying, Maranatha, come soon Lord, we are ready. Amen.